Exploring idioms, be on cloud nine. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of English idioms. Today, we're going to dive into the meaning and origins of the phrase, be on cloud nine. This is an idiom that you might hear in everyday conversation, but what does it really mean? Let's find out together. Be on cloud nine is an idiom used to describe a state of extreme happiness or euphoria. When someone says they're on cloud nine, it means they're feeling incredibly joyful or blissful. It's similar to saying someone is over the moon or on top of the world. This expression is often used to describe happiness from a specific event, like getting a new job, having a great day, or hearing good news. To understand this idiom better, let's see it in action. Here are a few examples. One, after hearing she had won the lottery, Jane was on cloud nine. Two, I've been on cloud nine ever since I got engaged last week. Three, winning the championship has put the whole team on cloud nine. Notice how in each case, the phrase is used to express a high level of happiness. The origins of be on cloud nine are a bit cloudy, pun intended. One theory is that it comes from the US Weather Bureau in the 1950s. They classified clouds by numbers and cloud nine was considered the highest and fluffiest, like a metaphor for being at the peak of happiness. Another theory links it to Buddhism, where cloud nine is a level of enlightenment. However, there's no definitive origin When using this idiom, it's important to match it with a context of happiness. For instance, after a positive event, I was on cloud nine when I passed my driving test. To empathize with someone's happiness, you must be on cloud nine after your promotion. As a question, are you on cloud nine about your upcoming vacation? And that's our exploration of the idiom, be on cloud nine. We hope this video has left you feeling a bit on cloud nine about learning English idioms. Remember, idioms are a fun and colorful way to express emotions and situations. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Until next time, keep learning and stay joyful.